Applying the distributive property using area models. When finding the area of a rectangle, we use the formula A equals L times W, or area equals length times width. Suppose we have two rectangles that are side by side and share the same width. How would we calculate the total area? There are two methods for determining the area of the entire figure. First, we can find the total length of the rectangle 6 plus 5 equals 11. And then substitute the length and width into the formula. A equals 11 times 4. The total area is 44 units squared. The second method is to find the area of each individual rectangle, and then add the two areas to find the total area of the figure. The first rectangle has an area of 6 times 4, or 24 units squared. The second rectangle has an area of 5 times 4, or 20 units squared. The combined areas would be 24 plus 20, or 44 units squared. Whether method 1 or 2 is used, the area is 44 units squared. Let's represent both methods by expressions. In method 1, we found the sum of 6 and 5, then multiplied by 4. In method 2, we multiplied 4 times 6 and 4 times 5, then added the result. Because we found that both methods equaled 44, we know that 4 times 6 plus 5 is equal to 4 times 6 plus 4 times 5. The property represented here is the distributive property. The distributive property states that a factor multiplied by a sum is equal to multiplying that factor by each addend and then adding the products. Now we can replace the values in our example with variables to show the distributive property algebraically. a times b plus c equals a times b plus a times c.